Spokespersons from the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, have confirmed that the IDF has entered Gaza and that a full-scale ground invasion is underway. News.com has learned that the IDF is operating in a controlled and strategic manner, with a specific set of goals in mind. On Thursday, October 26, the IDF conducted brief ground assaults in Gaza and shelled terrorist targets in what it said was a preparation for its widely expected ground invasion. The Israeli Defense Forces confirmed the operation, writing on X, in preparation for the next stages of combat, the IDF operated in northern Gaza. IDF tanks and infantry struck numerous terrorist cells, infrastructure, and anti-tank missile launch posts. The soldiers have since exited the area and returned to Israeli territory. A spokesman for the IDF, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, addressed the press about the hours-long attack saying, through the raid, we eliminated terrorists, neutralized threats, dismantled explosives, neutralized ambushes, in order to enable the next stages of the war for the ground forces, for times of Israel. Now, it seems the expected ground assault is already underway, with Hagari having announced that the Israeli forces are expanding their operations in Gaza. In the last few hours, we have severely increased our attacks in Gaza, the Jerusalem Post quoted him saying. He added that the attacks were taking place from the air, sea, and land. Infantry, armored, engineering and artillery forces participating in the activity, accompanied by heavy, air, fire. The forces are still on the ground and continue the fighting, he further mentioned, according to Times. However, he also said that there have been no reports of injuries so far. Israeli forces have also announced that the IDF warplanes have destroyed 150 underground targets in the northern Gaza Strip overnight on Friday. The attack has resulted in the death of numerous Hamas militants, along with the destruction of combat zones, underground combat zones, and other underground terrorist infrastructures, Times has reported. Friday night and Saturday have been really eventful for the conflict, as Hezbollah fired rockets at Israel from the north, and IDF's return fire killed terrorists who were trying to infiltrate Israel from the same direction. Furthermore, in response to rocket fire from Hezbollah that targeted Israel but ended up landing in Syria, the IDF claims to have destroyed the infrastructure of the Iran-backed militant group in Lebanon. The attack was done by an Israeli fighter jet on Friday, October 27. On the other hand, the IDF also claims to have taken out several senior operatives overnight on Friday in association with the Israel Security Agency, also known as Shin Bet. The deceased include the head of the aerial formation and the naval commando unit of Hamas, according to the Jerusalem Post. The outlet further reported that the naval commander the IDF killed was responsible for the recent marine infiltration attempt on Israel through the Zikim kibbutz, which was immediately foiled by the IDF.